super focused. A very, very safe nootropic mix that absolutely everyone could take. Very, very high quality ingredients. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on this nootropic called Supra Focus by Supra Mints. Somebody from this company reached out to me because I've done a lot of nootropic reviews and offered me a free bottle. So I was like, how do I turn down a free nootropic and a chance to do another nootropic review? I can. So as far as the price on this nootropic, I think it is $30 and you get 60 capsules or 30 servings. That's kind of right in the middle. Like I wouldn't say that's cheap and I wouldn't say that's expensive. I would say that's pretty fairly priced. Also guys, I do not have an affiliate link with them so I have no incentive to steer you either way it's going to be an honest review so this is a stimulant free nootropic it doesn't contain any caffeine no diamine no teacrine no yohimbi nothing and it seems like it's more of an overall brain health supplement versus a nootropic but hey if it helps my brain be more healthy I'm on board all right guys let's run through the ingredients real quick I will try to put them on screen so the first one we got is organic lion's mane at 445 milligrams now lion's mane is infamous from that Joe Rogan clip where a guy came on and said they gave mice dementia and when they gave mice lion's mane the dementia went away there was also some studies on it repairing damaged parts of the brain Wow. And I also think it helps regrow brain tissue, which I think at one point we didn't even think was possible. So can't say enough good things about lion's mane. It's probably one of the most infamous mushrooms to help with brain health. All right, the next thing we got here is Bacopa at 300 milligrams. Now, Bacopa is a supplement that I've used tons and tons of times. I have never used it on its own. I've always used it in supplement mixes like this. Every time that it was featured in a supplement mix, I had no issues. I felt like it worked great. When I researched it before this video, it seemed like it had numerous health benefits, not just brain health benefits. So it actually got me a little bit curious to try it on its own just for the health benefits alone. But it's becoming infamous in nootropic mixes now. And also when I researched the dose, they recommended a dose of 300 milligrams, which is within this mix right here. All right, I'm gonna butcher this, giving you fair warning. Uh, phosphodilserine, phosphodilserine. So that's another supplement that I've tried in mixes like this. I have never tried it on its own. The times that I've tried it in mixes, I liked everything about it. I had no side effects with it. When I looked it up online, just like Bacopa, it seems like it has multiple health benefits. Like when I searched it, like, like the first thing that came up wasn't even brain health. Like it helps all these other things. And when I Googled the dosage, I think the lower end of the dosage they recommended was 100 milligrams and there's 100 milligrams in here. So now this I'm torn about. L-tyrosine at 100 milligrams now. L-tyrosine is probably the one of the first nootropics I'd ever tried. So usually tyrosine is dosed at about 500 milligrams. The lowest amount of tyrosine I would expect to be effective is maybe 250 to 300 milligrams. So I'm not really too sure that you would even feel 100 milligrams. I don't know, maybe that's just me. They even have a stronger version called N-acetyl L-tyrosine and that's usually dosed at 350 milligrams. So I love tyrosine, I just don't know about this dosage, but again, it's a very anti-stim mix and L-tyrosine isn't super stimmy, but it can have a little bit of those qualities. So maybe they just don't like stimulants, I don't know. All right, the next thing we got here is biopurine black pepper extract. So that's basically supposed to improve absorption. I don't know if it does improve absorption, but, but lots of respectable companies use it. So hopefully it does. All right, the next thing we got here is lutein. Now, Oh, lutein, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but lutein is supposed to be great for your eyes and it has a lot of other health benefits besides brain health, but it's interesting that it helps your eyes. I would say it's most famous for helping your eyes, but it also helps with brain health as well. And it's dosed at five milligrams. And I think when I researched it, the lower, when I researched it, the lower end of the dosage they recommended was five milligrams as well. The last thing we got here is hyperzine A, which is basically a backdoor to get more choline in your body versus just taking choline. For me, I would say choline is probably one of the most fundamental nootropics out there. It's something you should stack with everything, whether it's a nootropic mix, whether it's a pre-workout, whether you're using racetams, whether you're using new peps, like everybody takes choline all the time. And it's kind of like this non-dopamine style focus. You don't really feel this motivation and cracked out euphoria, but it just gets you focused on things. This is probably the first mix I've ever seen that does not contain any forms of choline. When I was researching all these compounds, I forget which one it was, but one of them said that it improves something involving choline as well. So as far as the effects on this stuff, guys, it's not meant to be something that's overly effective, overly noticeable. Like I'm somebody who takes some really strong stimulants and I almost always want stimulants in my nootropic mix. So I think somebody like me won't feel this as much. This is for some 
somebody who is very sensitive to stimulants, probably doesn't have much caffeine. If I was giving somebody a nootropic to start with, I would want it to be very, very mild and have them inch up. I wouldn't want to give them something super strong. They have a bad experience and they never want to touch it again. All the ingredients in here are very, very high quality. I can't really knock them. As far as the effects here, I felt a little bit increase in energy. I felt generally like my brain capacity was a little bit better, but it wasn't overly noticeable like a pre-workout or something with stimulants in it. But again, that's just me. I actually do think it helps with brain health and brain function. I actually really like it for that. But if you're used to heavy stimulants and strong stimulants, you probably will need some sort of stimulant alongside this one. So anyways, guys, this supplement performed pretty much how I expected. Not very noticeable without the stimulants coming from my position. Some really, really high quality, well-studied ingredients in here. A noticeable increase in productivity, brain power, brain function, verbal fluency. I did notice a little bit of all that. And I think it's pretty fairly priced at $30. Now, when it comes to finding this online, it's actually pretty hard. Like I'm pretty sure if you Google Supramint or super focus it won't even really take you to this product it'll be like oh did you mean this did you mean that it's also not on amazon either so you have to buy it i think from their website it's the only spot so i will obviously link it down below but it is a little bit difficult like even if you know the name of it it takes a while to find it on google super focus a very very safe nootropic mix that absolutely everyone could take very very high quality ingredients and a reasonable price of 30 dollars. not much bad i could say about this supplement and you know yourself better than i do if you want some stimulants go with another nootropic mix if you want something super super safe to try out you have this super focus so what are your favorite nootropic mixes like this which one should i review next i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace